Well, thank you very much, and thanks for inviting me to this Congress. It has been very interesting for me to, to listen and, and learn a lot. I'm an orthopedic surgeon, a surgeon by training, and been in uh, well, managerial positions, first at, at Karolinska, where I worked almost my whole life, and then, then uh, in Capio, which is a healthcare company in, in, uh, in Europe. Um, I will go through some, my, my mission here is to try to connect in a way managers view on this with a perspective of the, of the people working in healthcare and uh, try to uh, involve ERAS concept in this. So I'll start with a presentation and try to, to, to share some uh, uh, basic facts about uh, reimbursement systems and financing and then We'll try to look at eras in this concept. First, I um, would like to say a few words about Capio. We're a privately owned company. Uh, we are a service provider with public finance patients, uh, almost every one of them. And uh, uh, we have the same uh, regulations and rules as other public hospitals in, in, in these countries. We were present in Spain before, but left Spain two years ago. Uh, you can see that we strive, as most healthcare companies and public hospitals, to give good care and, and do it efficiently. Uh, our production then, what do we do? Well, we have about 200,000 in-hospital episodes. Um, about, of them is about 75%, 165,000. Uh, surgical procedures per year and uh, you can see that we do this with the resources in form of co-workers which is the most important resource uh, 10,000 of them and 5,000 beds and in about 80 hospitals or units as we call them the smaller units and bigger units some of them are big acute A&E uh, hospitals there are some rationals that need to be agreed between healthcare people and, and managers, which not always are from the healthcare setting by training, or, or so many of them are economists or businessmen of, of, of different kinds. So the first thing, and that's why we all here, we choose our jobs because we want to provide good care for someone that is ill and to cure that patient. That is why we're here. And this is our mission and our passion is about that. So uh, managers need to respect that. That's the driving force in healthcare for all of us working in healthcare. If we should be able to do this, we need somewhere to work. We need a place to do this. That is the hospital usually. And um, this hospital needs to be economically healthy to survive. You know, in Europe, especially in Germany, a lot of hospitals is closed. Um, there is restrictions in other countries, etc. So, in over, uh, so therefore, economy matters also in healthcare, but never in the individual meeting between the doctor, nurse, and the patient, but on a group level for a group of patients. When we choose a methodology to treat patients, that is a policy decision, and in those decisions, economy matters. We have to provide the best care with the most efficient, in the most efficient way. There might be some different perspectives here from the healthcare community, as you see above here, in the top of the picture. There might be many different perspectives. Uh, doctors are the hardest group to change. Among doctors, it is neurosurgeons and orthopedic surgeons being the worst, unfortunately. Um, in some places, or I should say in between different countries, there are different boundaries between uh, doctors and nurses. Uh, some, in some countries, there is a good collaboration with a relatively flat hierarchy. In other countries, there's a huge hierarchy. I think it's important to work in teams, and I think ERAS 
has provided the importance of this uh, because you're demanding the team effort here in order to be successful. I think that's correct. The manager represented here by Martin Reitz as our very nice and friendly manager in, in Germany uh, might have another view on, on, on the healthcare. His or her point of view is always to see that uh, the resources that you demand in order to do the operation, etc., is justified from a resource perspective on a group level. So, there are some points we need to share and, and agree on. And first one, as this is mainly for the managers, is to understand the culture in which uh, we are working, the managers and the healthcare guys. It is driven by values and competence. The only thing that is respected in healthcare is competence. Uh, preferably with a significant asterisk of significance on the result. Uh, in this industry, contrary to under other industries, the workers, the most competent people, are in the front line working with the patient and is uh, the most important uh, key for quality but also cost drivers. Every decision you make at the front line is usually connected to a cost of some kind. While in the uh, car industry, automotive industry, um, it, this is not the same. Uh, so from this point of view, healthcare is different from other industries. In healthcare, there is also a limited experience of transparency. I think it's a very good initiative from ERAS to try to uh, uh, drive a, a register of the results so that you can follow and display, visualize the results of your intervention. Uh, we need clear feedback on what we do. Uh, this is standard procedure in other industries and we need to adapt to that. Uh, there is a um, a huge difference in traditions here between the different countries, even in Europe. There are some invisible guidelines too that managers need to be aware of, and that is that only peers are truly respected. Strong professions, sometimes with limited interaction. Um, and this is something that ERAS had overcome, I think. One of the advantages with this Congress is there are so many people from different specialities here interacting, and so many people with different professions, nurses, doctors, etc. I think this is very, very good. What also is to be taken into account is the variability in care. And as you can see here, the least variability occurs during the surgical procedure. I can do orthopedic surgery everywhere in the world from the time I'm scrubbed in to the time where I put the last suture in the patient. But before that and after that there are different policies and procedures. And the biggest variations are after the surgery. And ERAS, the ERAS concept, one of the strengths with that is that it it decreases these variations and decreased variation is the same as increased patient safety. We also need to, same, to, to share the same language, managers and healthcare workers. This is the uh, equation or the formula we use in CAPIO. Quality plus productivity equals efficiency. And efficiency, that is how efficient you are in a standard care setting, in contrast to efficacy, which is how effective you are in a perfect setting, usually in a randomized controlled trial. There is no uh, controversy, there is no, um, uh, there is no, um, uh, Quality, what I'm, I'm trying to say, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that 
quality and profit goes hand in hand. Because with high profit, with high quality, you will usually have a profit. With low quality, there will be bad economic results in the hospital. How can I say this? This is what you usually think of when we talk about quality. Low morbidity, no complications, satisfied patients. This is what the manager thinks of when we talk about quality. Lack of quality cost. If you have to redo your operation, there will be additional cost. If the patient stays in the hospital for 20 days instead of 10 days, there is an additional cost. Productivity, what is that? That is production <coughs> per resource. And this is why economy matters, because when you increase your production, you should not increase the resource demanded as much as the production, a little bit less. Then the productivity increases. So good quality drives high productivity, and those two together gives high efficiency. So quality matters, and quality is what we should strive for. We also need to share the same understanding about the reimbursement system. Doctors and nurses need to understand how the hospital is reimbursed, because that's a survival factor. Uh, all in-care hospital, in-hospital episodes are classified in the DRG system, which is spread over Europe in slightly different forms, but basically it's everything is the same. The DRG system contains three different parts. First, it's a product, product classification. This is what makes it possible for us to talk about colonic resections, with complications, without complications, hip replacement, etc. It's a very good catalog of what we're doing. So this is the first step. Secondly, it's a measure of resource consumption. One point in the DRG, DRG system equals the mean resource consumption group. And earlier, many, many, many years ago, that was a, a, a natural, uncomplicated delivery. Now it's not. Gal bladder, bladder removal is like 0.8. Uh, you can see there are colonic resection without complications, 2.3 points. With complications, 3. 0.4 and uh, hip replacement 1.9 and with complication 2.2. The third part of it is to connect it to a reimbursement system. That is a system that pays the hospitals. And there you can see one apply a certain amount of money to one point in the DRG system. 3,000 euros, that's a, a rather common value in Europe. Uh, that makes a payment for a colonic resection to 6,900 euros, as you can see, and a hip replacement without uh, complication, 5,700 euros. This is a basics for the economy for hospitals and a basic for, for our uh, environment. There are some individualities in the DRG system in the different countries. As you can see here in Germany, if you're too efficient, for example, if you operate your patient with prostate cancer with a Da Vinci robot, then it's possible to go home the day after. Like 70% of the patients in Sweden go home the day after surgery. Then you will get no payment in Germany. Because if your care is lower than two days, no money. If the, pace is in, if, if the patient is in the hospital between 2 to 4 to 10 to 14 days for different DRG groups, you will get your DRG payment. And if the patient is in the hospital for a longer time, then you get some additional payment for each day. So if you go over that border, then lock the patient in to earn more money. This is not a good rule, is it? It do not drive efficient care. In France, you have the same, a lower border called Bonnebas, 
you get payment, but you get also additional payment for ICU, intensive care unit treatment, and other measures. In Sweden, you are paid even if you go home the day after, and then for outliers, there are some additional payments. So, if you want to introduce new procedures, such as ERAS or other procedures, minimal invasive surgery especially, check the payment system to see and try to correct errors in the payment system and have a dialogue with this, about this with your manager and, and, and the public bodies. These are the drivers of change. To the left you can see the 50% increase of the healthcare spending between 1995 and 2009. Where will it end? And to the right, you can see the almost two-fold difference in length of stay between Germany, between Germany and Sweden. Why is it so? Are Germans uh, more slow? Or are the Swedes, the Swedes faster? Or is it just different policies? Or what is it? Well, the answer is different cultures, different regulations, etc., etc. So, I will try to implement EROS in this uh, context and uh, try to give you an example of, of, uh, of, of a business case with EROS uh, implemented. Um, this is a layman's business case for doctors and nurses. Uh, do not make it complex, make it simple. Speak with your manager and give good motivations. We have a very nice chief financial officer in Capio and he says like this, it's better to be approximately right than exactly wrong. <laughs> I think that's a good expression. It's not rocket science economy, it's about beliefs. So we need some medical facts and some assumptions to start with, don't we? So you can up update yourself at, at PubMed, or you can visit this Congress and learn a lot, as I did. Uh, some of you might need new glasses when you look at these pictures. Uh, it's from the posters, or is it eye surgery you need? It's uh, going up and down. But this is a poster from Carlos Varia showing uh, the uh, shorter length of stay and also differentiating be between those staying very short to the left and those staying a bit longer. So you'll see it's a skewed uh, curve here with more benefit from ERAS than your mean value will show. This is another good poster I, show, I, I found out there, uh, performing an update of randomized controlled trials uh, with new eight, eight new studies and many, many new patients included. And they all conclude the same, shorter length of stay, less complications, etc., etc. So here is your knowledge base. You, you know all this already, but I didn't before. So, it seems fair to assume then that uh, the average length of stay for colonic resection may go down from 10 days to 6 days. The average length of stay for this procedure in Germany and France is 12 days, slightly shorter in France. So it's a good uh, uh, assumption, I think, a reasonable one. You can come down to four to five or three to five days. So let's say six days. Complications down from four to two percent, reasonable, I think. And you use less IV fluids. You know that the, I the cost of IV fluids is usually the, the, the highest cost of all pharmacies used in a hospital. Down 10 percent, this is just a guess from me. Readmissions down from 7 to 5 percent. Do you think this is reasonable? Or learn on so, then it's okay. Good, good. So, you have to make some uh, uh, number exercises. Uh, this is the hundred, at your hospital you perform 100 colonic resections. Uh, reimbursement, as you can see there. So, before and after table, Average length of stay, 10 to 6 days. That is 10,000 bed days for these 100 patients before ERAS and 600 bed days after ERAS implementation. 
that will leave you with plus 400 bed days to do something with. Complications, four cases down to two cases. I calculated that the complications you have will cost you a bit more than your reimbursed. So with two less cases, you will gain 8,000 euros. IV flutes, 2,000 euros, I don't know. Readmissions, seven cases, in contrast to five cases, 4,000 euros. The 400 bed days, well, your reputation is now spread. So you're recruiting patients from everywhere. So you can fill these beds with more colon cancer patients where you can do colonic resection. So with six days of Avlos and 400 bed days, you can operate on 67 more patients. And if you do with this, with the same resources, you have the beds there, the staff is there. This is a 67% increase in productivity. The annual demand in Stockholm is to increase productivity with 2% per year. This is 67%. So, before and after, table again. Number of cases before 100, after 167. Your revenue from the 100 cases raises with 462,000 euros. That's a lot of money. So, here are the assumptions uh, uh, summarized again. Uh, Ablos effect from that, I calculated a 10% margin on each case that you add, and you may be uh, break even on the first 100, but 10% on the uh, uh, extra 67 patients, that is 50,000 euros. Complications, 8,000 euros. And have in mind, and tell your manager, that only, only one case avoided in the intensive care unit might save you like 30, 40,000 euros. It is 3,600 euros per day in the ICU. So there is an upside here from, for the manager, and also an upside for, for the patient avoiding the ICU. Readmissions 4,000. So we end up at 64,000 and a possibly another 100,000. There are some needs too for resources, isn't it? Preparation for the team, learning, meetings, etc., etc., 15,000. Half a nurse extra for registrar and uh, looking after the, the care chain and the doctors, maybe, 20,000. 5,000 others, a total of 40,000. So we will end up at about 24,000 euros plus from this, with a possibility to 60,000 euros. That's a lot. That is two nurses paid full-time a whole year. So to end up, this is what I started with. With an ERAS implication, uh, implementation like this, we healthcare workers can reach our goals to cure more patients, 67 more, and the manager can look at the 24,000 euro plus. That's a layman's business case, but in principle it is like this, but only more figures. It's, it's not rocket science, but you have to take this into, co into consideration also. Okay, thank you.